studying cryptozoology for 52 years. I started picking up on this whole notion that there was an area that was a magnet a weird phenomenon. I think that we've got something very unique going on in the Bridgewater and Hockamock area that we should at least acknowledge. Whatever it is, we keep talking about this region for some reason. I certainly think that the Hockamock Swamp serves as the epicenter of activity in the Bridgewater Triangle. I saw something that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. I saw what appeared to be the Sasquatch creature that I heard about. Off in the distance was an extremely large, man-like creature. I pulled over the Rainium Dog Trap parking lot. I'm right under this orb as it's birthing these ships. What I've seen was definitely not from this world. A lot of criminal cult activity happened in the Freetown State Forest. We had evidence that originals taking place in the State Forest, and it was a huge amount of caps with the absence of blood. Legends and stories about the Bridgewater Triangle will never stop. Nobody can argue that there isn't something very special about this area. I don't believe in the Bridgewater Triangle. I accept it. Hey Daniel, have you arrived safely in Bridgewater? Hey Kathy, I have just arrived in Freetown. Good. Are you up to speed with the objectives and locations for tonight's broadcast? I have identified 12 different locations within the bounds of Bridgewater to investigate. First, I will have a look around Freetown and talk to some locals to see what they can tell me. Then I will head out into the swamps, and we take it from there. Excellent. Are you ready? Good luck. Be careful out there. Hey YouTubers. Thanks for watching this live stream of Dread. Tonight we are in Bridgewater, Massachusetts to separate fact from fiction and discover the truth behind the spike in paranormal activities in the area. According to legend, King Philip, chief of the Wampanoag tribe was betrayed by his own people and killed but not before he put a curse on the area with his dying breath. Since then this place has been a hotbed for paranormal activity and UFO sightings. There have also been many reports of Bigfoot, Hellhound and Terror Bird encounters. Then there's the animal mutilations, ritual sacrifices and hundreds of cases of missing people. So all in all sounds like a nice place. Right? <laughs>